Snakes are an incredibly common reptile, living in almost every part of the planet, and there are many different kinds of snakes, with some really amazing differences between them. Some snakes are much rarer than others though, so let's check those unusual slithery dudes out. From the tiny Caribbean snake to the rarest snake in the world, here's 20 snakes that are born only once in a thousand years. <sighs> Number 20. Antiguan Racer Only a small population of Antiguan Racer snakes, a rare and severely endangered species of snake, may be found in the Caribbean islands of Antigua and Barbuda. Before one was found in 1959, Antiguan Racer snakes were assumed to be extinct and were listed as extinct. Since there's only been four Antiguan racers identified so far, they're extremely rare and might go extinct if their environment isn't protected. This snake was indigenous to the West Indian island of Antigua, as its name suggests, but it's now extinct there. Currently, a number of tiny islands off the coast of Antigua, including Bird Island, are home to the Antiguan racer snake. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. We all know that Australia is home to some fascinating and frankly some dangerous wildlife. One guy woke up one morning and saw this just chilling in his home. Even though he's used to some crazy critters living nearby, he was totally freaked out. So he called the authorities and they just told him to run for it. So far no one has dared to approach the house and the creatures pretty much moved in and set up home. Do you think this is a real species or is it some kind of made up hoax? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. St. Lucian Racer The Caribbean nation of St. Lucia is where conservationists have discovered the world's rarest snake. There may be just 18 St. Lucia racers left, according to a five-month evaluation of this little non-venomous snake. Previously widespread across St. Lucia, the racer saw a sharp fall after predatory mongooses were brought in from India in the late 19th century. The last remaining St. Lucia racers are now restricted to a small 30-acre offshore islet that remain mongoose-free. The St. Lucia racer is said to be one of the rarest creatures of any sort and the rarest snake in the world. Number 18. Trang and Roxanne's Blind Snake Due to their underground habitats, blind snakes' eyesight has deteriorated to the point that they can see very little to nothing at all. They also have tiny scales, very smooth bodies, and small heads due to their subterranean habitats. In Thailand, there are 11 different species of blind snake. The majority are short and thin, measuring between 10 and 20 centimeters, but there are a few that are very robust and can reach lengths of over 50 centimeters. Even more uncommon are patterned ones, however, one species has stripes and another has a white head. Coloration is uncommon, but a few species have unique belly colors. Some species of blind snakes are only known for a very small amount of individuals because they almost all spend their lives underground and are so difficult to discover. Ozaki's blind snake is only known from a small number of specimens. Siamese blind snakes have seldom been reported and no one has ever seen a photo of a live flowers blind snake. Number 17. Striped Snake one of the most prevalent snake species in Mississippi is the venomous copperhead, but the freak of nature that Lady Madison just discovered at her house is anything but typical. According to Mary Lambden Dennis, it was around 4 p.m. one Sunday. Actually, I was making my way down my driveway. He was standing at the driveway's edge. Although it was a snake, it was unlike any snake she had ever seen. It looked like a copperhead, but much of its body was striped instead of the customary color pattern that resembles a series of saddlebags draped over the snake's back. Dennis stated that she decided against killing the snakes since she had been reading about them online. Good idea. Although pattern abnormalities are relatively uncommon in snakes, according to retired herptologist Terry Major of Decatur, most people will never see one in the wild. According to Major, it might be challenging for the typical individual to identify snakes. Some non-venomous species imitate venomous snakes, while others have patterns that are too similar of those of venomous snakes. It can get even more complicated if you introduce the occasional genetic mutation. Number 16. Orlov's Viper Even if that little green snake terrifies the living daylights out of you, snakes face far greater threats in their natural habitat. It's not surprising that many snake species are in danger of going extinct given the pressures brought on by invading species and the progressive loss of their habitats. Snakes are crucial to the ecosystem in which we all exist, just like all other organisms. 
Vipera orlovi is endemic to the Caucasus area and is indigenous to the Black Sea region of Russia. The Orlov's viper and the closely related Caucasian viper were first recognized as different species in 2001. The large deadly fangs of this snake, which has a triangular head, are folded against the roof of the mouth when not in use. It's been observed that Orlov's vipers consume a variety of foods including mice, lizards, frogs, and insects. Less than 250 adults are thought to exist in the wild. Due to its appeal as a pet, the Orlov's viper is frequently stolen. The Orlov's viper natural habitat only covers less than 100 square kilometers, making it an animal in severe need of protection. Number 15. Aruba Island Rattlesnake This species only exists in Aruba. There are several indigenous species on the island off the coast of Venezuela, including the Aruba leaf-tailed gecko and Aruba whiptail. The rocky desert on the island's southeast are home to Aruba rattlesnakes. These snakes love the protection of cactus and thorn scrub, where they hide and wait for their meal. They're ambush predators. During the hot summer months, Aruba rattlesnakes are nocturnal, but become active in the morning and evening when the evenings are cooler. Like other snakes, they consume a variety of smaller creatures, but the Aruba whiptail, a lizard unique to the island of Aruba, is the main food source for this species. They favor environments that are uninhabited by people. In the rocky hills instead of the cities, you may locate Aruba rattlesnakes more frequently. During their whole lives, these snakes don't go very far and many remain in an area of one to two square miles. Number 14, Round Island Boa. The Round Island Boa is a non-venomous species of snake belonging to the family Boleridae and the monopic genus Casaria. It's only found on Round Island and Mauritius. There are currently no recognized subspecies. The belly is lighter with dark dots and has softer dorsal color pattern. The color of the boa changes during the course of a day, going from dark during its largely quiet daytime hours to light during its most active hours, which are early evening to morning. Polychromatic skin cells are responsible for producing this effect. One of the species' popular names derives from the body's tiny kneeled scales. On the IUCN red list, this species is categorized as endangered. This indicates that, while not being severely endangered, there has been a very high risk of extinction in the wild for a while. Less than 250 adults were thought to be in the population in 1996. The number of adult boas has increased thanks to recent conservation initiatives to about a thousand. This was accomplished by getting rid of the goats and rabbits on the island and re-establishing the natural ecosystem, which increased the amount of the boa's natural prey, which is lizards. Number 13, short-nosed sea snake. This is the first time a short-nosed sea snake has been seen in this area since 1998, according to researchers from the Schmidt Ocean Institute, who discovered it near Ashmore Reef off the northern coast of Western Australia. Shark Bay, Western Australia, is the only other known habitat for this species. Additionally, on rare occasion, they've been seen in the seas between Exmouth and Broome. Not only is it amazing that researchers have shown the critically endangered short-nosed sea snake is still surviving in the waters surrounding the tiny Ashmore and Carter Islands, which were once thought to be the world's most biodiverse sea snake hotspot, but they've also been able to explore Ashmore Reef's depths, which no team has ever gone to before. Number 12, Derevsky's Viper. This small viper species belonging to the subspecies Viperinae of the family Viperinae is called Vipera derevisci. This species is indigenous to Turkey's northeast, northern Armenia, and maybe neighboring southern Georgia. The Derevsky's viper is a little venomous snake. Although its bite will hurt and swell locally, adult humans don't seem to be in danger from it. It has a light brown to gray dorsal surface with dark brown to black zigzagging patterns down the back and a single row of tiny dark spots on either side of the body. A pattern of many gray or black dots might be seen on the tummy. Males have a nearly black belly with some white pieces on the borders of their ventricle scales compared to females who have a grayer belly. Adult males are often substantially brighter and have greater color contrast than females. Adult males have a comparatively light background color with a yellow tinge and a dark, frequently black pattern, whilst females have a browner background color and a less noticeable brown pattern. Number 11, Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake. A type of venomous pit viper exclusive to Isla Santa Catalina on the Gulf of California, close to the coast of the Mexican state of Baja, California, the Santa Catalina rattlesnake is a very rare snake. 
It's a species that's quite small and thin, and its most distinguishing feature is that it's rattle-free. The greatest known length that it attains is about 73.1 centimeters. Its lack of a rattle makes it stand out the most. The button at the base of the tail has become so deteriorated that the rattle no longer forms a new segment with each shed, as it does in other species of rattlesnakes. Instead, it just comes off right away. It's generally accepted that this is a regional adaptation for bird hunting. According to the IUCN Red List, this species is considered to be critically endangered. Its geographic range is believed to be smaller than 100 kilometers squared. It only occurs in one area. And the best known information suggests a continual drop in the number of adult individuals, which means it was assessed to be facing an extremely high danger of extinction in the wild. Number 10, Alcatraz's Lancehead. Only on the Alcatraz's islands, which are located off the coast of southeast Brazil, are home to the venomous pit viper species, Bothrop alcatraz. Its diminutive stature and comparatively big eyes are regarded as what are known as paedomorphic traits, meaning it looks like a baby its whole life. Only common Bothrops were present on the island until 15,000 years ago, when the island was still connected to the continent. The Bothrops that were stranded there swiftly gorged themselves on all available rodents, which are their principal diet, as soon as the sea rose back up, and the mountain reverted to its archipelago status. Cockroaches and Scopolendra were ultimately included as food sources, and because they had a much lower nutritional value, the snakes gradually shrunk in size until they couldn't grow any more than 50 centimeters. This process is known as allopatric speciation. Currently, Alcatraz's island serves as a naval target practice location. These actions endanger the island's environment, which puts the animals that live there in danger. The population is particularly at risk from habitat disturbance because this snake is only known in this region. Number 9. Wagner's Viper the Wagner's viper is a kind of snake found in the Viperidae family subfamily, Viperinae. Northwestern Iran and eastern Turkey are this species' natural habitats. There are no recognized legitimate subspecies. The specific name, Wagneri, honors German adventurer Moritz Wagner, who gathered the original specimen in 1848 and is commemorated by the name. The head is separate from the neck, somewhat big and elongate. Round and coated with tiny keeled scales, the nose is rounded. Its two primary risks are habitat loss from dam development and capture for the exotic pet trade. At the St. Louis Zoo, nine critically endangered oscillate mountain vipers were born on August 16, 2013. A joint breeding and conservation initiative for this threatened species includes the St. Louis Zoo. Number eight, Albany Adder. This dwarf adder species, Albany adders, which are severely endangered, are found only in South Africa. This is one of the rarest snakes in the world, with just 17 sightings recorded. Additionally, open cast mining, wind farming, and road construction pose a threat to their sole known site. Coega bontled is a special kind of flora that's strongly associated with Albany adders. There isn't much of it left, and the mining area is where two-thirds of it is located. If immediate action isn't taken, extinction for the adder looms. It's very uncommon, and until four live individuals and one roadkill were discovered in late 2016 or early 2017, it was believed to possibly be extinct. Number 7. Leaf-Scaled Sea Snake the venomous sea snake is sometimes referred to as the leaf-scaled sea snake and belongs in the family Elipidae, around 800 millimeters in length with a purple-brown hue. The food of this little-known species is only known to include wrasse and gungeon fish, which it pursues via coral outcrops and crevices. This species' geographic range has shrunk since it was initially discovered, and it's now only known from a dwindling population that lives in Shark Bay on Australia's west coast. The leaf-scaled sea snake favors 10-meter deep seas. A colony of the snakes were discovered in the seagrass meadows of Shark Bay, off the coast of Western Australia in 2015. It's among the top 100 most endangered species in the world. Number 6. St. Vincent Black Snake it's been noted that this island's snake population is quickly dwindling as a result of speculations that a large boa constrictor was discovered in a wooded region, close to the recently opened resort in Bucamont, St. Vincent. The tales claim that the enormous snake may have traveled to St. Vincent in the white sand delivery that the resort purchased for the use on the exclusive beach. 
Despite the absence of any evidence, the locals are in a panic. All snake species in St. Vincent are in jeopardy of going extinct. This is because people mistakenly believe that all snakes are deadly, and as a result, the three types of snakes that are rumored to reside there have all but disappeared. The Barbors Tropical Racer, Cook's Tree Boa, and St. Vincent's Black Snake are all three of these endangered species. In actuality, only a few Caribbean islands contain venomous snakes. According to local experts, the area's native snakes aren't venomous. They've attempted to persuade people to try not to kill them throughout the years by pointing out how they maintain balance by, for instance, controlling the rat population. The existence of the mongoose and other introduced predators, including cats, has also had an impact on the survival of the species. Number 5. Ross's Wolf Snake a species of colorbred snake called Lycodon chrysoprateros, sometimes referred to as a Ross's wolf snake, is located on the Philippine island of Dulapuri. The Greek words chris, which means gold, and prater, which means traitor, were combined to create the English name Christoprateros, which was selected by scientists who worked on the identification. It has a characteristic head that's flattened somewhat in comparison to the neck. Its nose protrude more forward than its lower jaw, and its pupils are almost round. The snake has an ivory yellow ventral surface and a dark brown pattern-free dorsal surface. Little is known about the species' ecology and habitat. The species is known to be terrestrial, and the three specimens used to characterize it were found along a woodland trail. The Babuyan Island group in the Philippines is the only place where the species is unquestionably known to exist, and Dilupuri Island is where it was first spotted in 1990. As a result, the species' known range is barely 52 square kilometers. Number 4. Golden Lancehead Viper Brazil has a number of breathtakingly gorgeous locations, like the Igazau Falls and Lencoz Manahenes National Park. At first appearance, Ija de Cuamanda Grande, which is located around 90 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, appears to be another one of those breathtaking locations. Nearly everyone in Brazil is aware of the island, but the majority would never consider visiting since it's home to between 2,000 and 4,000 golden lancehead vipers, one of the world's deadliest snakes. Many local legends describe the terrible fates that awaited those who wandered onto the shores of Snake Island, where it's said that a foolish fisherman accidentally landed in search of bananas, only to be discovered days later in the boat, dead in a pool of his own blood. Snake bites everywhere. These vipers' venom can kill a person in under an hour, and numerous local legends tell of the horrible fates that awaited those who did so. Snakes will frequently stalk their prey, bite them, wait for the poison to act, before relocating the victim. The golden lancehead vipers, however, are unable to follow the birds they bite. Therefore, they have to instead develop exceptionally powerful and effective venom, three to five times stronger than that of any mainland snake, capable of melting human flesh and instantaneously killing the majority of victims. Number 3. Kikuzato's Brook Snake Usually referred to as Kikuzato stream snake, it's a species of snake that only exists in Japan. It's an aquatic species that lives in the island's northern and southernmost mountainous areas running streams. The habitats between the two communities have been entirely turned into farmland. It's classified by the IUCN as critically endangered because of threats from bycatch fishing, water pollution, and predation by introduced species, especially the American bullfrog. After many decades of population decline, the American bullfrog was introduced to Kumejima Island in 1953 and predation may put enormous strain on the population. The threat posed by inbreeding among the tiny and isolated populations is also growing. Number 2. Cuban Khaki Dwarf Boa With 17 species, half of the world's species, and every one of them native to this archipelago, Cuba is the epicenter of the dwarf boa, or trope genus Tropicophistus diversity. They're constricting, nocturnal, and tiny, typically about 50 centimeters in total length, viperous snakes from an extremely old family. They include some of the most vivid Wes Andes snakes, although some of the larger species, such as the giant trope, may also eat small rodents and birds, frogs and lizards make up the majority of the diet. On the Cuban archipelago, some species are widespread and moderately common, while others are only known from a small number of locations and are extremely uncommon. 
This is the situation with the Cuban khaki trope, which has only been found in seven individuals and has only been recorded from two places located 30 kilometers apart on the northern shore of eastern Cuba. As one of Cuba's rarest reptiles, the Cuban khaki trope was designated as critically endangered in the Red Book of Cuban vertebrates. Yet the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species later revised its assessment to endangered. Number 1. Ghost Snake The ghost snake a light gray snake with unusual markings that had never been seen before, was found by scientists in the dense vegetation of Madagascar. The species is typically referred to as the ghost snake because of its incredibly pale body color. A discovery trip was being undertaken by the U.S. Madagascar scientific team in search of novel species. After ascending more than 12 kilometers, they came across the ghost snake on the limestone rocks of the Ankarana Special Reserve. The snake's DNA analysis in the United States revealed that it's a new species called Madagascarophilus lolo and is a member of the cat-eyed snake family. The vertical pupils that are typical of snakes that are active at night or in the evening give cat-eyed snakes their name. Madagascarophilus lolo may be distinguished from other species in the genus by its gray overall body color, black vertebral stripes and dorsal, alternatively light gray splotches. It has 56 sub caudal scales, 189 rows of ventral scales, and 25 rows of mid-body scales. Is there more we should be doing to save these rare snakes? Have you ever seen an unusual snake? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!